And now, ladies and gentlemen, from Collins Park Center, Arlington, Texas, USA, Eddie Hearn for Matchroom Boxing USA, in association with Bob Arum's Top Rank Incorporated, and Rock Nation Sports proudly presents the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC, WBO Super Lightweight Championship of the World. And it's all brought to you live on DAZN and Sky Sports, sponsored by Tecate, the official beer of boxing and JD Sports. Sanctioned by the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation Chairman, Rick Figueroa, Executive Director, Mike Ariz Mendez. World Boxing Organization President Francisco Paco Barcarcel, Supervisor Michael Pernick, World Boxing Council President Maurice Suleiman, Supervisor Robert Lenhard. Our three judges scoring Ramon Cerdan, Juan Carlos Paleo, and Jesse Reyes. And in charge of the action at the Bell World Championship veteran referee Mark Nelson. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the officials are ready, the fighters are in the ring, and they are ready. So for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Introducing first, Fighting out of the blue corner with his trainer, Vincent Parra, wearing burgundy with gold. Official weight, 139, one half pounds. His professional record, 26 victories, including 17 wins by knockout. He has three draws. Ladies and gentlemen, he's the reigning, defending, undefeated WBO super lightweight champion of the world. From Big D, Dallas, Texas, USA, Maurice Mighty Mo Hooker! And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, his opponent with his trainer, Robert Garcia, wearing red and officially weighing in at 139.4 pounds. His professional record is a perfect one. 24 fights, 24 victories, including 16 wins by knockout from Avenal, California. The reigning, defending, undefeated WBC super lightweight champion of the world, Jose Carlos Ramirez. An old school buzz here. There is a fight fan's favorite about to take place. Two men with belts taking this fight at their peak. Robert. And you just don't know what's going to happen. Gentlemen, you received your instructions in the dressing room for this unification title. You both know exactly what I expect. Give the fans a good, hard, clean fight. Obey my commands and protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves, good luck to both of you. Maurice Hooker went on the road to win his title against Terry Flanagan. He went on the road to defend against Alex Saucedo. He fights in his hometown in the biggest fight of his career. Maybe when it's over, it will Back all up. seem obvious. It doesn't right now. Jose Ramirez, Maurice Hooker for the 140 pound championship. Okay. Hooker standing long with that long jab and even longer right hand. Ramirez will have to close that distance and get inside. It will be difficult. Ramirez normally relentless. Hooker off balance immediately and stumbles back toward the ropes. Ramirez will look to apply constant pressure. Hard jab by Hooker. 
That's a good stiff jab. And Sergio, everything is long and strong from Hooker straight up the middle. Hooker has a seven and a half, seven and a half reach advantage, and Ramirez has that smart pressure where he, he has that, that constant head movement. He knows how to how to get his feet in position to always punch hard, especially with the body. There's a right hand from Hooker, and now Hooker goes down. Wow! Twice, four. I think he might have stepped five, on his foot, Ramirez. Six. Twice seven, he's lost his balance. Eight. Looked like something might have hit him, and then he went down, so that's being ruled a knockdown by Mark Nelson. Well, Ramirez clearly stepped on his foot. Already, so, we're going to wonder if that decision is going to win huge in this fight. Sharp jabs from Hooker. Well, he's got to get a little steadier on his feet. We will certainly look back at that and see did a punch cause it and then get stepped on, or was it just a stumble? But Ramirez with an early knockdown here in round one. I saw Ramirez step on Hooker's foot. Nice clean right hand there by Hooker. Again, this is the style matchup. Inside, a hook to the body and a head from Ramirez, and he's training right away. Good Dangerous counters. thing to do with Hooker. Good counters there by, uh, by Hooker there. Maurice Hooker is a dangerous man with that right hand as he tries a right hand to the body and lands. Do you get the sense this could be extremely exciting? We could see both fighters on the deck. If they're going to exchange like this, Sergio, very possible. Fireworks, right? I love the, the counter left hooks that, from Hooker right there. Ramirez came in aggressive. Hooker countered with the left and the right. It's going to be nice. Hooker still looks calm. And he lands a right hand there. That's a long, hard right hand. That's his advantage. That's his weapon. And he is calmly assessing the man in front of him. Hard jab by Ramirez. Ramirez is going to have to have a better work rate here to have success. Sergio, I would think he's got to continually press the action. You can't stand and pick your shots with a man who's so good at that. No, and right now Hooker's really keeping his, his uh, focus and his distance. He landed a really good right hand, but Ramirez barely missed the overhand right right now. Hooker needs to keep that chin tucked as well. Fight behind that long distance jab. Final 10 seconds and a real hint of menace in this first round. Sharp jab by Ramirez as he slips under a right hand. And Ramirez is the one who got the knockdown in round one. We'll take another look. Hooker objects immediately. We'll get right to it. Watch Ramirez's left foot right there, stepping on Hooker's left foot, and that's what caused the knockdown. So that's not a knockdown. Should not have been ruled. See, he put out the jab, maybe barely touched him, and then he just fell back. So that should not have been ruled a knockdown. The referee saw the punch. We saw the foot being stepped on. Hey, look, it's difficult. To, it's like a play at first base, looking at what's up at the glove, and then is, are there feet on the base? If you can look at his feet and look at the jab up to the head, but you, uh, it's difficult. But you can see the way that Hooker fell back, waving his arms like he was off balance. It wasn't the punch that did that, with his arms flailing back like that. I thought so, but it all happens in a flash, Sergio. And we have a knockdown officially for Jose Ramirez. There's no replay here. Round two. And that was a fascinating first round. Chris, how did you have it? I had Hooker winning the round, but with the knockdown, the edge goes to Jose Ramirez. Ramirez comes in and quick with the jab, but you can see as Ramirez steps in, he is in danger. He leaves himself slightly open, and Hooker is able to counter with hard shots. Both throwing power jabs to the body, both of them focusing on the body. Hooker is able to stand there with poise and tries a hook off the jab. See how long that jab is. Extremely long. Ramirez was able to slip it there. Usually when you have that long of arms, you're, you're not much of a hooker, but right now Hooker is hooking really nicely off that long jab. Ramirez trying to smother that right hand by getting in close. But you can pay a price by trying to get inside. One and at any moment, that right hand will just pull you. It is that hard for Hooker. And it is that long. It's almost like a, a Tommy Hearns reach. Good hook by Maurice Hooker. That's been the best punch so far by Hooker. It's a check hook. He throws a jab. Once Ramirez comes in, a left hook counter. Good body shot, but then a double up. Left and a right hand by Ramirez. Excellent action so far, both sides. Body shot, good hook by Jose Ramirez. Brutal body 
shot down the right in there. Well, if you didn't know who was going to win early, I don't think you know who's going to win now. Just at the moment you think Hooker has such a power advantage, Ramirez is able to land hard shots and hooks to the body. Now he's got Hooker pinned up against the ropes. This is where Hooker needs, he doesn't want to be by the, by the ropes. He needs to get off the ropes right now. Stay in the middle of the ring, fight behind the jab. Hooker knew that hook was coming from Ramirez, that dangerous shot. He is keeping his right elbow tucked in nicely. You've got to block those shots and he was able to do that. But Ramirez, this is where he wants this fight. Right hand by Ramirez and then a hook to the body. Hook up to the head, that didn't land too hard. It's too early in the fight for Hooker to be against the ropes like this. Even though he does feel comfortable and he's fighting nicely off the ropes, right now it's Ramirez landing the better shots. Hooks to the head by Ramirez and another hook to the head. And a right hand straight up. Looked like Hooker was sticking out his tongue. Well, this is not to his advantage fighting this way. Ramirez wants to keep in a fight in the kitchen and he's doing just that in his face. up scoring blows here. He had a knockdown around one where he, whether he deserved it or not. And now he is racking up points. Lands another hook. Taking over this round in a big right hand. Chopping on Hooker. Didn't land flush, but it landed. And Jose Ramirez imposed his will in that round. Hooker smiling. And Ramirez saying, that's it. That's all you got. But that was a Ramirez round. You were boxing early. You were boxing nice early, all right? Uh, go back to the, uh, Come back to boxing. You're, gonna, you're winning the round. I know you were, but we can't give any of that bullshit, baby, all right? Be ready. Keep your emotions in check, baby. Keep your, I know, I know, I know you are, but we, gotta, we can't be giving away. We can't give away any rounds, all right? Back to the jab, back to boxing, keep it in the middle of the ring, all right? Keep taking him, all right? All right, looking good, looking good, but don't do that to him much. Boom, All right. I got you, I got you, guys. I was okay. I know, I know, but we gotta keep, we, gotta, we can't give away these early rounds, all right? Let's go. Let's go, baby, all right? Back to the jab, be patient, you're landing. There were definitely two halves to that round, Sergio. That was fascinating. Hooker needs to... Stay on the outside, use his advantages. That's exactly what his trainer, Vincent Parra, wants him to do. Fight behind the jab in the long right hand. Stay off the ropes. And Ramirez comes off a very tough fight as well. Very close decision, barely eked out a win, a majority decision win over Jose Zapata. Ramirez winning the 12th round, obviously, otherwise it would have been scored a draw. So he comes in off a tough fight, and now he is in a war. And he won that second round. Did he have that second round for you, Chris Max? I gave him that second round. And Mari Soker is fighting the fight that Jose Ramirez wants to fight. But you got to remember, against Alex Sosedo, Mari Soker went down the early rounds as well, rallied to win by knockout. Maybe Hooker's going to have to do the same thing. Double up on the hooks by Jose Ramirez. And he is now fluid in his attack, throwing uppercuts and hooks at the same time in the same combinations. See, the punches landed. Wow, look at that, 34 to 32. Punches thrown, also very close. Close fight. I love this, look at that. Ramirez trying to get an angle on the taller Hooker now. Jabbing and getting an angle, getting on the side. And Sergio, Hooker looked poised for the first half of that round. He looked calm, picking his spots, and then he allowed himself, or maybe Ramirez just forced the issue by pinning him up on the ropes. I just don't get why Hooker gave him that. Uh, he should have got off the ropes and fought this fight, right in the middle of the ring. But right now, I love the way that Ramirez is fluidly, fluidly moving with his upper, lower body, getting the angles. Hook to the body by Ramirez. Ramirez is relentless. He is a hard-working fighter. Hooker came in in top shape this time around. Made weight first time. It was a huge issue in his last bout. The hook again from Ramirez. He needed four tries to make 140 pounds back in March when he beat Michael Lepierre. And he looked drained and flat, but he willed himself to a good work rate and a wide win on points. His great body work being done by Jose Ramirez his first few rounds. Putting in the work rate as well. Hooker with chopping right hand. That is always going to be dangerous. That was a good body shot there by Hooker as well. Caught Ramirez's attention going back. He threw a right hand and landed it as well to the body. I think he hurt Ramirez with those two shots. Again, Hooker has tremendous power with that right hand. If Hooker gets this kind of space, when he doesn't fight off the ropes. Oh, look at Ramirez. Right hand and then hooks to the body. There are a lot of shifts already in this fight. We're only in round three. 
Normally, right hand by Hooker. Normally body punches don't like getting hit to the body. Chavez was a devastating body puncher, but with Pernell Whitaker fought him, he went downstairs, and that's what made Pernell have success with the big champion. And Hooker threw another hook there that got Ramirez's attention and rattled him just a bit, landing flush with the right hand. Another hard, fascinating round as they go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Tremendous round three, and they're still fighting. Great respect, but great action. Respect him at all. Do not respect him. Just stay alive. I told him just obey the bell. Obey the bell. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Good action. Good action in that round two. The crowd already on their feet. Ramirez landed downstairs with the left hook chopping upstairs. But Hooker Listen comes back bell. with a solid right hand right there, catching Ramirez behind the ear. Back and forth, give and take. Great action here. As good as expected here in Arlington, Texas, 140-pound unification, Jose Ramirez and Maurice Hooker. Round four. Chris, how did you have the third round? Gave the third round to Maurice Hooker. I thought that combination you saw in the replay at the very end, a body shot that hurt Jose Ramirez. That was the most significant combination that edges it out for Mo Hooker. You know, at any moment where you think one fighter is getting the advantage, the other one comes back a few seconds later. Ramirez is so hard working, so relentless with his attack, but Hooker has such good power and poise as well, at least when he's not on the ropes. Doubling up on the jab. Hooker trying to find Ramirez and find his distance. What a right hand there by Hooker. Ramirez took that well. And you can see already when Hooker gets the distance, he is at a huge advantage. When Ramirez closes the distance, he is landing scoring punches. I love that jab downstairs right there. Keep, keep Ramirez thinking downstairs and come upstairs with a straight right hand. Use your advantage, that eight inch reach advantage. Ramirez is going to have to stay aggressive. He comes up short with the right hand. Hooker able to get out of danger. And he lands there. Nice jab by Ramirez and he follows up with a hook. Any moment, a little bolo action from Hooker. He seems fairly calm. And a good jab by Ramirez, snapping Hooker's head back. Hooker did the, Hooker did the right thing. Once, once he got his back against the ropes, he pivoted out and went right back to the middle of the ring. Hooker has shown a very nice hook so far in this fight, Sergio. Especially off the jab. With that eight-inch reach, he's throwing the jab and turning it into a left hook, which is very difficult to do when you have red, uh, that rangy, long uh, uh, distance. And Ramirez has got to be so cognizant of that chopping right hand, that bazooka right hand, that that, that hook seems to find its target. And I don't know if it confuses Ramirez or he's not able to see it. It's a laser right hand. He hides it behind us, a long, sharp left jab. Ramirez will need to keep up the work rate. He will need to close the gap in order to win rounds. But these are not easy rounds to score. There's an ebb and flow. You have to also track that first minute as to what happens there. That counts as much as the last minute. If Hooker can stay disciplined behind that jab and that long right hand, Ramirez is going to have a hard time closing that distance. No matter how great he is at closing distance, both these fighters are champions, we know that, but Hooker's looking really good when he gets that distance. Two or three good jabs, all landing, scoring shots from Hooker. And a great right hand behind it that landed right on Ramirez's jaw. Hard shots by Hooker as they clash again. And they both want it in almost every round in the final 30 seconds. They both feel that urgency already. Uppercuts by Ramirez, misses with the hook. Ramirez Obey the bell putting here. on the hurt. Obey it. Another action-packed round. Time! Keep popping that. Todo jodido, Jose. Keep warmed up, all right? Nice round. All right, nice round, nice round, nice round, baby. All right, you're looking good, all right? Just be patient. You're gonna get your second win pretty soon. All right? All right you, you got him with some good shots, baby. You hit him, you hurt him pretty good. All right, but just be patient with him. Keep picking him from the outside. He's running into everything. 
Okay? Yes. Look at deep breath. One more. In your house, so you have to know that. Okay? We're in his house. 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 Okay. So let me know when there's 30 seconds. Don't be overconfident. Don't be overconfident, Jose. Well, so you can see why be overconfident. This has been an outstanding fight, fairly even in a lot of reasons why. The more dangerous shots seem to come from Maury's hooker, but Ramirez able to land in combination as well. And Chris Mannix, round five, round four, excuse me, how'd you have it? Had it 10-9, Maury Hooker thought he landed the cleaner shots there. Solid round for Hooker, but these guys are battling, Brian. Some of these are very close rounds. And Hooker losing his balance there. Again, again, just showing you how difficult it is. Right hand from Hooker, maybe landing just a tad short. And Hooker with a power jab. He uses it as a weapon, not just a rangefinder. He's looking for that power jab with that slick right hand. Right behind it. And it stands you right up, Sergio. Good hook by Ramirez. And an uppercut from Hooker. And a hook from Hooker. Good action. Doubling up on the jab. Power punches landed even through four. Dangerous exchange. One minute. Always dangerous in this fight. Hook and then downstairs by Ramirez. Doubling up on that from the hook in the body. And now a straight right hand from Ramirez. And now he presses the action and has Hooker back on the ropes. This is where he was so effective in round two. This is where Vincent Parra, the trainer of Maurice Hooker, doesn't want him to fight. He doesn't want him against the ropes. Stay on the outside. Use your distance, your advantage. That's a withering hook by Ramirez, boy. Put one right to the body on that skinny body of Maurice Hooker. He is long and lean. And Ramirez can do some more damage there. The other side is when he extends those arms, he can really take you out. Ramirez now has him where he wants him, on the ropes. A hook to the head. Another one. Glancing blow. Pulls him back to the ropes. Ramirez now able to get in his grill. Just missed with that hook. Hooker bounces back straight up the middle. Good body shot by Hooker. This is hard. He shot to the bottom. Another. That's three hard hooks by Maurice Hooker. Hooker coming right back. Getting his distance. Throwing out the dangerous right hand. A real battle here in round five. Digging it in again. The hook to the body. Hooker just trying to create a little bit of space. Oh, a big hook lands by Hooker. And another. Ramirez. His head was rocked on that one. He continues to move forward, but that had to hurt. Now Ramirez comes back. And he's firing back again. Now that hurt. Every oh, round, the bell. tremendous action. Hey. Back and forth we go, we're through five. Let's go to Claudia Trejos. Thank you, Brian. They just realized that Jose Ramirez has taken Hooker's best punch. Right. And the common denominator exactly. here is put the pressure on, keep going, show no respect. Robert Garcia has been very clear at the beginning. He just said, pace yourself, take your time. Now, from the third round on, is remember, you're at his house, show no respect. Keep the pressure on, keep going. You already took it, keep on going, going forward. Back to you. Here we're going to see Ramirez bullying Hooker against the ropes with a power jab and unleashing a right hand. That's where Hooker does not want to be with his back against the ropes. He had his moments in that round when he fought in the middle of the ring, but once his back got near the ropes, that's when Ramirez had the best success. I thought the most dangerous part of that round, though, were those three hooks from Maurice Hooker. I agree. Where I thought Ramirez was, if, if he wasn't hurt, he was certainly momentarily stunned. Most humans would have been hurt. And those punches landed in the middle of the ring, but I thought it was a close round. Hooker landed some really good punches. So did Ramirez, just a great fight. And Chris, you gave that round to Jose Ramirez. I did. I thought Hooker had some good moments in the middle of the round, but the beginning and the end, they belonged to Jose Ramirez. It's a tough round to score, though, right? Several tough rounds to score.
Action packed round six. Tremendous championship fight. Two unbeaten champions head to head. This is exactly what you want. You don't know who's going to win walking in. And we're feeling the same way now. Great combination there by Jose Ramirez. Fascinating style matchup. Good long hook by Hooker. That's a jab that just landed, snapping the head back on Ramirez. Ramirez not only unbeaten, he was a national amateur champion, made the 2012 U.S. Olympic team, won a fight at the Olympics. Yet, Chris, not a huge pro prospect coming out. No, he was an Olympian, and there were some early comparisons to Oscar De La Hoya, the length, the power, the good body movement. But it wasn't until he got to Freddie Roach who helped turn him into a world champion, and he has really blossomed from there. And he gets better and better. He's a huge local draw in Central California. Used to be out there farming, picking vegetables in the fields. He is one with his people. Raises awareness about drought issues. He works with the California Latino Water Coalition. So he'll he'll put 10, 15,000 people in his local arena there every time out. Not only that, but going from Freddie Roach to Robert Garcia, just getting the best of both worlds. Hard hook by Ramirez. Hooker looks hurt. Hooker is dazed. Hooker is bad. It's over. That fast. It's over. Jose Ramirez has ended it. A sudden burst. Hooker had his head snapped back. Mark Nelson says that's enough. And Jose Ramirez is the unified champion at 140 pounds. Wow. With extreme suddenness. Jose Ramirez, relentless, stunning Maurice Hooker and stopping him. What a fight. And no complaints from Maurice Hooker, doing the classy thing right there. Ramirez ended this fight in devastating fashion with that brutal left hook. They had great respect for each other before the fight. They continue to have respect for each other now, and why not? That was fantastic. I'm stunned, Sergio, but I would have been stunned the other way, too, that it just happened that fast. Just an awesome fight between two champions, and this is what you get when you get a unification. The best needed the best in their absolute prime. Well, Hooker's family there. You see how upset they are. It happened awfully quickly. Hooker, the more dangerous puncher, but Ramirez is relentless and able to rock Hooker's world. And once he had his head going, he pounced immediately. Let's go back to where it started, Sergio. I believe it was a left hook. There it is right there. Caught Hooker backing up, which is the last thing you want to do if you have the advantage in size. He was out on his feet. I think the referee did exactly what he needed to do. That's a perfect call by referee Mark Nelson stopping this fight. And Nelson had to act immediately. Now, he saw the head snapping back. He saw Hooker standing back by the ropes. But how about closing the show? Look at Ramirez. Just accelerate. And Mark Nelson jumps in. It felt sudden. The crowd was fairly upset until they saw the condition Hooker was in a second after that stoppage. No, I think it was a brilliant stoppage. Hooker was out on his feet, and he was getting hit with clean shots. He was out right there, Brian. Yep. Nelson with an outstanding job. Got right in. And it's not easy to do that when it's such a competitive fight. But he recognized as soon as the neck goes slack, you've got to get in. Mark Nelson did that. Just a brilliant... Brilliant performance by Ramirez and a great stoppage by the referee. Not letting Maurice Hooker take more punishment. Just an amazing unification here. Action packed through the whole fight. Going to war. Pressuring on the ropes. And then Hooker with hard hooks. Landed three big hooks in round five, but then in round six, it was more than enough for Jose Ramirez, who jumped in and pounced immediately on his hurt opponent. Let's go to the ring and Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 1 minute 48 seconds of round number six. The winner by TKO victory as referee Mark Nelson calls a halt to the contest. He is now the unified WBC, WBO, Super lightweight champion of the world, Jose 
Carlos Ramirez. Sergio, I asked Jose earlier, why take this fight, the risk? And he said something, because he's such a such a nice kid. He said, look, I want to fight the best. I want to unify. I want to be the undisputed champion. You know, so I, I'll come here to fight this guy. This guy is dangerous, but that's why you can win a lot by beating this man. Ramirez showed character. He didn't care that we were in Hooker's hometown. He says, inside that ring, we're both in our hometown. And Ramirez told us that Hooker was going to have to dig deeper than he ever had a dig before. It was a fantastic fight, but ultimately, that man right there is the unified champion now. Just incredible action.